and welcome to Sunday the 5th of September have a look at some of the mods that have come out this week and the updates are as follows we've got the Polish potato box by Jolinek we've got the Lenny Mountain Chalet the refurbished bunker silo by Arisin Reina the Riverside Shed Pack by Missy B Massey Ferguson 7600 by Bailu the Liberty L4367 by KRKZ Modern. We've also got an update on the UB Plow by Mert. The famed A Plows by Game Master. The MDW527 by Le Casino. The Case IH Tiger Made 255 by Custom Modern. Also the John Deere W200 series by Polycount. Then moving on to some updates on some maps. We've got Attingham Park by GB Modern. The Pomeran Rugen by ATZE VR. The Holland Chevelle by Dutchfield Maps. Riverside Farms by Missy B. Then moving on to the last couple of updates there before we get on to the mods. We have got the Lepacho Trees by Team. IWMM, some great range of different coloured trees that you can get there for obviously to create more of a, a better look on your farm. Moving on, we got the Cowborn, but Cow Barn by Daniel X321 Chesk. The KSIH Axial Floor 13150 Harvester by Matt26. The Lizard Sam 600L by Puscap Katsan18. Z 151311 Cultivator by KZ Modern. The John Deere S600 series by JHHG Modern. The John Deere S700 series by the same modder. And then following another same two updates by the same modder is the John Deere DB60 Cedar and the John Deere DB120. And then finally we've got the old Kiwi Farm by Kaz64. So those are the mods for today for you. Sorry, the review, the updates. Moving on to the mods today. So we've got a good selection of mods. Just bring up my notes so we can get a good in-depth look at these. So, to this lovely beauty, we've got this Varenio Brazil. It is 55,000 to buy, 200 horsepower, optional colours, functional doors on the front and the rear, and optional lights as well. This is 10.6 megabytes. Start that one up for you so you can have a good listen to that. Crack and horn on this one. Just pop up the help window for that. Then if you press L1 and X, it does do the boot for you up and down. Then L1 and right stick up will open the front door like that. And then right stick back down will shut the door. And then if you go over to R1 and right stick left and right, it will open the passenger door. Lovely little mod on this. You can also R1 and R3 click down. You've got your tension belts in the back there. So you might just fit a bit of a pallet in there. Or if you've got some loose things, maybe some logs, a couple of egg boxes, things like that, you can fit them in. So we'll have a little look at that in the menu under vehicles and cars. As I said there, 55,000 to buy. That's your standard as it'll come. So the design you can change from standard to square lights and now these are just above the bumper. So square and then round and then nothing. Wheel set up, you've got those. Wheel one, wheel two. It changes the tire and the rim to be in a bit smaller. And then back to standard and then the design color anything from that 
we'll change the top for you and then anything from that from there see all the lights the lights will come on obviously if you have them above the bumper and then on the back it does sound lovely nice little machine very good it's lovely so to some new vehicles that we have just in front of us here these two are the same tractor but you can get different versions you've got this one with the full cab over the top with the windows and then this one where it's just the canopy over the top there the new holland work master so we'll have a little look at that you will find these under vehicles and small tractors there you go so the one with the full cabin is 47.5 to buy with the open and just the canopy is 37 and a half this mod is 37.11 megabytes to download various options that you can do across both of them front loader attachment no allo she just changes it into that part for it you. you just say it and then the yes the front loader attachment Workmaster 55, 55 horsepower, up to 65 and to 75 horsepower back down. Beacons, no. Left beacon, right beacon, and dual beacons. And they're back to nothing. Front fenders, yes and no. Standard for wheel setup. Wheel weights, wide tyres white tyres and wheel weights and they're back to standard wheel brand, Trelleborg Michelin back to Trelleborg and your configuration you got the 90 kilogram front weight 100 225 back down, oh sorry, to up to 405 then 585 765 Nelly to a thousand and back to standard. The main colour, any one of them, which will do the front body. And then your ring colour, any one of them. So that's that one. And then the one with the open canopy, you can't have it where it's just open. All the same specifications you can do on this one. Obviously no canopy and canopy, front loader attachment, horsepower, front fenders, wheel setup, Trelleborg, same amount of weights, rim colour, any one of them, and then that does change the full body on that one. Nothing on the doors, nothing opens there. But on R L1 and R1, you can change the door on that one for you. You can open it slightly. So just to sell you that again, it's not on L1, it's L1 and R1. Right stick to move the door. You've got your beacons. Your lights. A little sunroof on the top there. Nice design inside. You've got the seat belts. All the levers work. All your various controls. Nice. Very nice tractor. Got a lot of detail on it. Pop you in the next one so you can see this. This is the same.
Nothing on any doors here. We haven't got any. But a nice tractor nonetheless. So. Moving swiftly on. This other tractor here. The steer 4115 multi. I think I've said that right. This is also under small tractors. Eighty two thousand to buy. Various options on this front loader attachment, engine setup up to four hundred and fourteen horsepower, extension. You can't have that. Not sure what you would want to use that for, but it is there if you wish to have it. And then you can't go back to none. Wheel setup, wheel weights, wide tyres, wide tyres and weights, and narrow tyres, and a back to standard. Wheel brand, Trelleborg, Michelin, Nokian, and back to Trelleborg, and then configuration, standard. And then you get the weight. Then the front hydraulic with a PTO. And then back to standard. Any main colour, you can only do the red and the orange. Which does pop that up to 91,000. With those modifications there. Nice simple tractor. If you are running a small farm or you just like to run small tractors. And this is definitely the one for you. So got your beacons, all your lights, sorted. So, moving to this one here, it does look a bit strange with the tracks on, you can't get it with wheels, but we'll show you this one. This is the New Holland TF series by Black Eyes Modern. You will obviously find this under vehicles, harvesters, and there. 85,000 to buy is standard. Wheel set up from standard to crawler tracks and wide tyres. Then the engine set up from 260 to 360 horsepower and 330. Rim colour you can change to white, which will obviously do the crawler tracks and the back as well. 7,000 litres capacity. This is 936 megabytes to download. Obviously, you can fit various uh, headers on this for corn and for wheat, barley, etc. So we'll have a look, a look at this. Obviously, that is unfolded so when you can fold it just put those up at the back and the ladders quite a nice simple design in there ladders are there and then obviously see them like that so if you pop your head around to that Obviously you can disable the straw swath swath as normal. The pipe out looks like that. Nice fluid motion. Decent length on the pipe. Fully adjust the header. And then lower header. Turn it on. And there you go. 6 miles per hour work and width and as your straw stroth comes out the back and if you want to disable it it will come out the back like that and there you go lovely Moving on to the next mod. Now 
is this one here it is 879 megabytes to download it is the agro mash aps 40h cultivator small width of four meters choir power is 120 horsepower 12,000 to buy it is by Barso nv3 Nice fluid motion for unfolding it. To the right side first. And then lowering it. But you will find that under obviously cultivators. There you go. Modifications you can do on this is this one here at the back, the tubes, the rollers, you can go tubular roller, tubular roller two, and then back to the normal one. We'll only put the price up to another 400 quid for if you're changing that, but it'll both do the same job. So if you drive where you need to be, lower that, and then you will then cultivate. I think it's quite nice actually that. I like the rollers on the back. Very nice indeed. And then fold up. Nice and simple. Like that. So we'll head over here to the storage sheds and barns. First, we've got this here. Is your tank. This will allow you to fill up your herbicide well your fertilizer sorry there's a polish liquid fertilizing tank by gmz this is just a standard liquid fertilizer sprayer this is 0 0.35 megabytes to download so open a cover on that start filling and it will fill your liquid fertilizer so that was like 500 liters it was 13.94 to buy and then obviously simply Unload your sprayer and away you go. The daily upkeep of this is five pound a day, seven and a half thousand liters capacity. Sorry, no, it's not, it's seven and a half thousand to buy. But it's a liquid fertilizer tanks to place on your farm to fill your sprayers. Simple as that. You can place a few of these around if you wish, and then obviously you've always got something to fill up your thanks so moving on to this darker one behind is the old polish brick barn by fudzo love the ivy on here loads and loads of detail on here very very nice the way on the ground kind of open that door which allows you to go in here which is that Lovely opening inside. This is 7.55 megabytes of download, £10 a day upkeep, season's ready, and it's 20,000 to buy. So you've got your, your door open there. And then your other side, you've got plenty of storage in here to pop anything in that you need. So there you go with your ivy there. You will obviously find this in the, uh, I think it's miscellaneous. You will find the Polish liquid fertilizer tank under this one as well. I didn't say that before. That is under uh, miscellaneous.
and the old Polish brick barn 20,000 to buy is under sheds now as we're just on here we will have a look at the medium garage and small garage so the medium is 15 pound a day upkeep you've got the four openings there for 40,000 and then the small one 30,000 and it is by Mache Mods 12.72 megabytes to download both are seasons ready and the smaller one is $10 a day upkeep so have a little look at them obviously all the doors do open with a nice little lock along them like so there you go and obviously not massive to fit anything too large in there got your lights here obviously you can't put your pallets in here maybe just small sprayers things like that lots of nice detail in here so that's the small that's the larger one sorry and then this is the smaller one same amount of detail but on a smaller scale and then your lights like so lovely chubby now this one here is a bit of a peculiar one so this one here that you see with these two grains grid sorry of silos and this pipe is one right this will all place down in one this is the underground silo by the Lord. So the, the write up on this is that at last the silo that will not take up much space. The spruits, all your crops are stored on the ground, will fit everything in there, it is multi fruit ready. Now, this one here that we're looking at is 200,000 to buy, 20 pound a day upkeep and it will be it is a million litres now this one to the side here you don't need this one for this larger one to work this is an extension so this is a hundred thousand litres ten pound a day upkeep and it is two hundred and fifty thousand litres so obviously it's under placeables and silos So there you've got your larger one so it'll hold all of those crops and give you a million, liter, million liters of each now that one only a hundred thousand for only a quarter of a mil liters for those crops so when you are placing them obviously it will look like this for the larger one and then when obviously you place this one it will need to be close ish to it for you to then have your 1.25 1.250 million litres but you don't need this one because this one if you were to bring a truck over here and try and empty thing, anything into there it'll just co sit on top it doesn't come up with the option to unload but this one does because this one's got the chevrons on the corners so you any trailer truck whatever it is you would come on here pop your things in there and it would be in a sail up underneath and then obviously to get them out will be under there for you so as you can see on those crops above we've got 1.25 million liters but then on some we only get a million liters the Others like there you can see there's only 250,000 litres those are only a million continuing to a million and that's it so obviously majority you're going to have a million litres on those so moving on we've got some new orga wagons which just over here we have a new 
tank and two new auger wagons. So the auger wagons are by LNM modding. They're 28.47 megabytes to download. Obviously you can get various different options on these. Which we'll show you. This one here is 11,000 a buy, we'll hold those crops, 17,500 litres. The main colour is the main body, the rim colour is that, and the design colour is the pipe itself. Wheel brand you can change from Lizard, Trelleborg, Michelin, back to Lizard, and the cover you can change from grey, white, yellow, and back to grey. A nice little one there decent amount of literage on that it's quite good and then the other one with a larger liter ridge on that larger capacity main color again any one of those design color just the front box there and then underneath the pipe and then the rim color any one of them and again the cover yellow white grey back to yellow 24,000 litres on that one so 24,000 pounds and it is 25,000 litres to buy on that so as see as you do with any other auger wagon see pipe out now this is slow to begin with but then it does kick in you see open your cover like that. Now it is showing right stick, but it isn't actually doing anything that I can see. I was trying to figure this out before. You may find it, and please let me know if you do in the comments below. And obviously, pop your pipe in there. We'll see if you are on the field, you can fill it up from there. Pop a bit of wheat in there for you. That'll do. And then, like so, pop the pipe out. And there you go. Lovely little modsies. Two nice auger wagons. Let that go and empty. Now this one is a split tank. So you could have a bit in the front and a bit in the back. Same again. Open cover. So you see like that the paper's sitting there. And obviously if you press L1 and down on the D-pad. That will then come out and fill as you fill in each tank and then empty from either tank that you choose and then pay it back in for back for storage I'll just show you how that one works just so you know So we'll put some wheat in there, like so, and we'll put some canola in there, like so as well. And obviously, pipe out. Did you see that? I will just show you it again. If the pipe was in, pipe out one is for wheat, and then pipe out two is canola. You would unload there for your canola, so your wheat, and then it 
doesn't show right, does it? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, I've just noticed that one. There you go. So obviously pipe in, we'll do the, the first one. And then pipe two, we'll do the second. Got there in the end. Moving on to this one just here. Got a nice little mod. Got the Lizard T500. I do like this one indeed. So have a little look at this. Just getting my mods. It is the Fuel Tank Lizard T5000. Sorry, I think I believe I said that right. By GD Modern, 1907 megabytes to download, 5,000 liters, 8,500 to buy. L1 and X, unfold the trailer. That is what it would be in real life, the fuel pump. Obviously pop the fuel in the tank and you take it back out. You don't need that open like that to be able to fill the fuel inside. It will fill up without that. Nothing else you can do with that, no other flaps. There was a comment that had said I'd missed some features of a mod in a previous video so thank you very much for letting me know that it was duly noted and I'll remember that for next time so you would fill your diesel into that head it down to the field that you need and there you go so last couple of mods now we've got this big beast John Deere 9R640 so let me just grab my notes on this one this is a beast and a half this is by Sid Modern you will find this under large track bars 20.98 megabytes to download and look at it look at it in all its glory lots of different modifications you can do on this one 421,000 there to buy obviously we're varying on the mo uh, modifications that you do but it's pretty much going to do anything you want the horsepower ranges as you can see from 481 all the way up to 691 so the US version is like so the standard Aussie version with the oversized signs and then the EU version with the signs changing at the front Engine setup 440 to the 691, so it says 640 there, but it's actually 691 horsepower. Attaches the PTO on the back, 3.8, inch, and then your standard, and then the wheel setup is like so weights and no weights, and then the wheel brand lizard, which is your big fat ones. Your Michelin's your little skinny ones but then obviously as you're in Michelin if you go back down to wheel setup the roll crop 30 you get the weights in the back in the front and then an extra wheel and then another one and then you get the RC triples the weight holder on the front and then you get the 300 kilogram front weight and then you can go no and then the blade attacher rock box and then jump up to 21 kilogram front weight down to 1700 1100 700 5 3 and then weight holder no color modifications on that one but look at it it is a beast so as you can see behind it this is a weeder i don't run weeds at all but obviously that is that, it is by Rooster Mods, 
4.83 megabytes of download, 7 miles per hour working speed, 50 horsepower required. Working width is about 15 foot and it is 525 to download. Sorry, 5250 to buy. But obviously, the tractor, as you can see, very nice. Plenty of working lights. Little beacons on the front and the back. Horn. Can change the seat movement inside. So it's R1, right stick to be able to move. If you wanted, you could drive like that. That's here touch and then pop back round like so nothing else on that one you can do your door which does pop your light on and just give you a closer look it's L1 and R1 and right stick to the left opens it and lastly we have this, we've got the trailer, we've got the skip and the various tanks. It does come as a pack, so the tanks you can change the colour and the symbols on the front. So obviously it represents what's in each one, 5000 litres as it says on the side. We've got a digestive one on the back here, like so. Obviously you will find the trailer under tools and trailers. As so, the RN812, 8, 8000 to buy is the trailer itself. You can change the design which changes all the colours underneath. Main colour is the main body. The design colour is the arms at the top. And the rim colour is the any one of those. The skip itself, if we change the main colour to black, then those hooks that you can see on the side, those are the design colours, so you can change those to any one of them. My apologies, I was just forgot to say one thing, the skip will hold all of those crops, 7,000 litres, you could have a few of those dotted around the farm, which is very good idea L1 and X we'll drop those arms at the bottom to make it stable and then start lowering the tank like so and then when it's at the bottom X to detach then you want to fold the arm back up you can't drive with the arms down but obviously we wouldn't recommend it in real life then what you can do is, is that's folding up move along the escape and then L1 and X again arms down go a bit closer, you don't need to be massively closer sorry massively close but obviously allow that to lower down X to attach then L1 and X again Allowing the container to come back up. You can fill into the container like that. If you've got pallets to the side, you can fill from obviously a silo from the far end there. That will all work. But if you don't want to you don't have to drop this skip for it to unload, you would simply do L1, R1 and triangle, which would then drop the arms, put the hooks over and then start tipping the contents out like so so thank you very much for watching today and joining me on these mod reviews and updates I do thank you very much for that as always please like subscribe and comment I will always reply to your comments any questions that you've got please fire them my way and I will do my best to answer them for you this is Sunday evening the video will be out today 
so please enjoy the rest of the evening by watching this and as always i'll see you through the week thank you very much and goodbye for now